Yo, what up, YouTube? So this right here, this is a random video. <clears throat> this video right here gonna just be um the instructions on how to move a 3800 um engine, 3800. I'm working on this Grand Prix right here. Can't find on the internet. This is 2003. Got the supercharger. This is my second time pulling this motor out. So couldn't find nothing online to help me out. Or uh, at least a YouTube video. So hopefully this video helps somebody out. And uh, so we'll get to it. I'll show you some of the little tricks that I use. I ain't no professional or whatnot or whatever. So hopefully this, help, this video help you out. All right. All right. First thing first, you want to take off your... The oil cap, uh, just to let, let some air in there. And then you wanna drain your oil. I'll just move this over here. You wanna drain, come at the bottom, find your oil pan, and then you just wanna drain your oil. Mine is a, a 15 millimeter, and uh, you wanna drain all your fluids first. Your oil, then your coolant all right next thing you want to do you want to drain your coolant the plug is going to be on the driver's side if you come right behind the tire at the bottom of the radiator support you see out of that rubber grommet is leaking there is a you see this little white uh that's the radiator drain plug um i just took some grip pliers and twisted it and uh it started flowing if you can't get it through this way um there's a splash guard right up in the wheel you can go through that way and catch it like under there so it's on the driver's side under the support right there and you just use your hand or some uh, grip pliers to get that all right, I just want to give y'all my little secret. If you look, uh, you see all those colors. So this for the people that, so I, this is my second time pulling this mold out. This for the people that uh probably scared as hell to take all this shit loose. So what I ended up doing was the first time I went to the store and I bought different color electrical tape. And uh, as you see, um, as I begin to disconnect shit, I label them. So like this plug here, it has a yellow label and I know it goes there. Same thing for this one. Red goes to red, white goes to white, red goes to red, green goes to green, yellow goes to yellow, all these colors. And I'm telling you, man, that will save your life to make sure you know, you see everything. I mean, everything in the engine bay is black anyway, so um, that's going to save your life. Take a little time, a little extra time, and do that. I assure you, it's going to help you out. Um, so far, all I changed, all I, all that I have done is uh, try to get this camera together. I haven't done much at all. I just removed the the air box. I mean, you could take the time to do that. Um, and I'm currently, I did take off the, the radiator um, reservoir hose and removing the radiator, uh, the, the reservoir. Um, after that, I just want to, I want to move the battery. So just take your terminals out. And then keep your screws somewhere. I'll put those there. Um, this electric box is probably gonna be in your way, so just kind of tug it out the way just until you can raise your battery out. Once that's out, sit to the side. All right. Um, it's really no specific order. You really just wanna clear this top area off of the motor, which is that big wire harness. Um, another thing that I did was, um, I disconnected my um, fuel injector uh, connections. 
It's three of them in the front, three of them in the back for a V6, obviously. Um, now, the, the fuel rail, you do not have to disconnect. I didn't disconnect it the first time. Um, and I'm going to show you how I literally just... It's fuel rail. It has a 10 millimeter. It has four bolts. Two in the front and two in the back. I'm going to take those out. The key to doing this stuff, man, I learned, like I said, this my only my second time and I've learned so much. Um, it's organization. Don't rush it. It's organization. I actually, um, before I start taking off any screws, I need to uh, go and get me some uh, sandwich bags and literally use a permanent marker and label them. So these right here will be the fuel rail. Bolts should be five and be the two in the front, the two in the back, and this big one on top. Um, and I'm going to put those in a bag. I'm actually going to stop after I do this and go get a bag because I don't want any screws. Just kind of hanging around. Um, and I'm going to show you how you can literally just lift the fuel rail out of the way and you don't have to disconnect it. You know, they, 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 they say you have to go get a tool and all that kind of stuff. I didn't do that the first time. I left it connected. And I didn't have any problems. So once you get all the bolts out, got a fuel rail, you can literally just lift it. It's gonna be a little tension because you're gonna have to pop out the uh, the fuel injectors with it. So don't be scared, give it a little tug in the front. Don't be too, too rough with it. Just kind of wiggle it out a little bit. All right, as you can see, I just swung it um, onto the windshield. Um, they actually had another screw back there, so it's uh, it's three in the back and it's two in the front. Um, and it should just lift right up after you disconnect all of the disconnectors for the uh, few injectors. Uh, right now, I'm gonna take off the alternator. We're gonna clear up this side right here. I already have my um, spark plug wires um labeled um i didn't label them here because it's rubber but on the part that actually um goes on the spark plugs themselves those i have numbers on those and basically it's just one three and five in the front and um i'm not sure what the back is it's probably two four six in the back but um they already labeled um, from my previous time, but you definitely want to label those before you take those off. Um, as far as the alternator, um, we got to take off our our belt. So we're just going to push down on the pulley and pull the belt off. Once you pull that belt off, then, I mean, it's pretty self, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you're going to take this bolt out, you're going to take that bolt out, and you're going to disconnect the electric, uh, the electric wire. And then you're going to take this bolt out and the whole thing should uh, lift right up. All right, y'all. <laughs> I know it looked like a lot, but it's not. So basically, all I did was I, I, I was really working on this harness. This harness is, is your main shit that you want to work on. See, as I move, you see all my colors and shit like that, right? <clears throat> I did remove the alternator. Um, that's the obvious man. So like I said, it was two bolts here and then there was one bolt here. Um, and then you pull out the connector 
and uh, the battery, uh, the, the positive, which is connected to the harness. And you just move that out the way. That's over there on the floor over there. Um, I did disconnect the rear uh, spark plugs. Um, I got my little my little firing order right here. In the back is two four six, and in the front is one three five. I did break two of them, so I'm gonna have to get a whole new um wire set. Um, for the most part, uh, oh, what I was currently working on was um a lot of this stuff you don't even have to like take apart if you can one of my advice is if you could leave the screws in on the motor do that for example i took i'm sorry i took these two uh these two hoses off and those were pretty much right there in those two one of the hoses had this screw in it so what I was saying was if you could keep the screw, just put the screw back where it was and, and that should help you to, you know, kind of not have too many screws, not do the whole bag thing, stuff like that. That's just a little small piece of advice. Um, next, we're going to take off this radiator hose. It was kind of stuck, so you already know you got to wiggle it and all that good shit. So let's see if I can get it. That good. Got this damn tripod right here. Yeah, so the so radiator holes. I ain't even sure if they got shouldn't have no fluid in there, drained enough, and it's the top one anyway. If anything, we'll get fluid out of the, the lower of radiator holes. And uh if you want, just kind of swing it out the way or whatever. I just tuck it under there for right now. Uh next thing is you don't want to I don't want to disassemble all this. So this this thing here comes with three. Three uh, screws, one here, one at the bottom, and one in that corner. Once you take those out, this whole thing just, shit. Sorry about that. Let me make sure y'all, y'all can see what I'm doing. Yeah, this whole thing just come off. See that? And then you can just move it out the way. See, just move it out the way. So I'm just gonna swing it right up there, just like that, and now it's out the way. So now you got this big old ass hole of stuff to do. Um, I guess next I'll be getting, I'm gonna need a new gasket too, I see. One of those little housing gaskets. Oh, actually, no, that one is actually good, still good. Um, but next I guess I'll get to the exhaust, take the exhaust apart, and uh, yeah, we're gonna keep moving. Okay, so next, um, all I did was um, I took the little battery tray out um, to give me a little more clearance. I took off this uh, <clears throat> lower radiator hose. Um, I took it off the radiator. Didn't have any too much fluid come out. Um, it's a, it's kind of stuck right there, so it's fine. I'll lift it out once I lift the mode out. Um, it'll it'll come, and you see I got the top radiator hose out already. Um, now <clears throat> we're working on. The harness getting it completely off the motor, as you can see, is almost off. When you come around to the back, you have these wires here that drop down. Go down to the passenger side wheel, and that is going to be your, I don't know if you can see that, your oil pressure. Um, I think that's your oil pressure sensor. You want to unclip that which is this thing. And then the other one is, um, should be connected to a harness, another little clip, this little clip harness. So you just unclip those two and then it should be able to go up to the top. Uh, you should be able to pull those wires from the wire harness up to the top. All right, the next thing we are gonna do, we gotta take off the power steering pump. You look up up there, see this pulley right here? That pulley, they got two bolts in there. You're gonna twist this pulley until you get to this big hole. If you stick your finger in there, you'll feel a 13 millimeter bolt. It's at six o'clock. Then you go on the top of the motor, find your pulley. This your pulley right here. I don't know if you can see that. You see that bolt right there? 
that boat right there. That's that's at twelve o'clock. You're gonna go ahead on it. You're gonna get that put that that boat out of there too. But you're gonna have to spin this pulley to get it where the big hole at. And then you stick your um you stick your um your socket in there and you remove that. Once you remove them two bolts, and then the power steering pump, this whole situation gonna gonna come off, it's gonna get loose. All right, now that I got the power steering pump loose, see it's nice and loose, got the two bolts out. Now, um, what you wanna do is, I wanna pull a power steering pump out, my bad. I wanna pull the power steering pump out. Um, I'm not gonna disconnect the lines or nothing like that. So the easiest way I found is to take this big situation off. Um, there's three bolts, there's one, there's two, and in there, if you stick your hand under this, it's, it's one right there up under there. So, camera down there. That one right there. So you get those three off and this whole situation come off and then the power steering pump, you could just push it out the way or whatnot. That's a 15 millimeter bolt, uh, them three bolts. Um, antifreeze is gonna come out these elbows. I did get the aluminum elbows, that one, and that one down up in that cut. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna take those off right now. All right, so I went on here, got that out. Um, your two boots, very little um, antifreeze come out the motor. Um, obviously, that's why we, uh, that's why we had um, drained the coolant in the beginning. I mean, a couple drips. I just want to catch what I could. And like I said, I got the aluminum. Uh, which call is just be careful when you wiggling those out. They will come out. Just kind of wiggle them, wiggle them around a little bit. And I am going to sit that there because I want to put my bolts back in it. I'm not doing uh, my whole bag situation this go round, so I'm just gonna. It's an easy way just to leave um just to leave your which call it's in the part. I'll leave those bolts in there. Sit this all to the side. I'm gonna alternate and everything. All right, that's that situation. Now we can work on this power steering pump. Should be able to lift this right up out of here. It's kind of hard uh, holding the camera. Okay, so I wasn't able to take the power steering pump out, so I just kind of moved it out the way. Really, you just need it out the way. Um, you're supposed to take out that uh, oil pressure sensor right there. I'm not gonna take it out. I just uh, simply unplugged it. Now, I know I don't have the bracket because I, I didn't put the bracket back in when I um, reinstalled uh, this engine. So um, now we're working on that dark hole back there. See that dark hole back there? I'm trying to get the light back up in that area. You see that boat back there? Right at the bottom, right down there? That's what they call the bitch boat. That's the boat everybody hate. That is an 18 millimeter boat, and you need a whole lot of extensions to get that boat. You gotta get that boat. So that's what I'm gonna work on right now, is getting that boat out. And uh, yeah, I'll be back at you. So I got it out. <laughs> that literally only took me like two minutes, no lie. So this is the shit I use. I got my deep socket, uh, 18 millimeter. I got my long um, extension, small extension. Broke it down to a 3.8, had a little small 3.8 extension. Broke it back up to a half drive and uh, brung it there. So uh, you literally need about, shit, let me see. My foot is about 11 size, so we just say a foot. So like one, two, close to about three feet. About three feet, probably about two feet nine or some crazy shit like that. So anyway, we got the bitch boat out. Um, next we are going to, all right, next we're gonna work on the AC compressor. So you got your AC compressor right there, right there. So first thing first we're gonna do, we're gonna unhook this connector. This connector.
connector right down here. See, right up in that little hole right there. We're going to unhook that. And then we're going to take these three bolts out. I don't know if you can see that bolt right there in that little, in that little, in that little area right there. That bolt. You're going to take that bolt out. And you're going to come down here. And you're going to take that little sucker out. Once you take that out, we're not going to unhook the uh, AC compressor because we don't want to deal with the whole antifreeze. Uh, not antifreeze. The, uh, the fucking uh, Freon and all that shit. So, we're going to remove it from the motor, and we are going to, we're going to sit it inside the bumper. There's a little area off to the side, right around those lines, these lines right here. We're going to just move it out the way. So, when we lift the motor out, it's completely uh, uh, detached and everything like that. So, you ain't going to have to do no nothing with the Freon, no nothing. Once the motor put back in, we just bolt it back on and slap our belt on and then we're good to go. So that's what I'm going to work on right now. Take that electric connector off and then take those three bolts off. All right. All right. Now that we got the AC compressor, it's just pulled out the way. If you see it, it's literally just sitting on the frame right there. And that's fine, because it's just, our, it's not, it's detached from the motor. Really, all we're trying to do is just take as much shit off we can, so this motor could go straight up, and we won't have no problem. So once we got there, put your bolts out the way, blah, blah, blah. Now we're going to work on this motor mount right here. See that bracket? Under the car, there is two, one, two, bolts 15 millimeter we're gonna um snatch those two out that's gonna um officially uh detach the car from the motor mount um so that's what i'm gonna do right now all right y'all the next step we're gonna work from the bottom of the car all right Turn my little flashlight on. All right. So we're going to work on this starter. Right? There is a starter. You got those two bolts right there. You got one and you got two. Take those 15 as 15 millimeter bolts. Now, this is the interesting part right here. Not hard, just interesting. Right? So, you see the, the starter solenoid and I could take it off but I choose not to you see all the wires that's connected to the solenoid right there what you want to do with those wires once the um once the start is out and you got to take those wires off you want to um make sure that you zip tie those um those together for example they got some of those bolts got two wires on one of the bolts so you want to use zip ties. So zip tie them, zip tie them out the way. Please remember where you had, where you zip tied them at, and what that shit is for. You don't want to um, make a mistake and use one of those wires for like a ground or something like that for the car or something like that. So that's just a little small, little tricky part. You just want to zip ties those somewhere else. So right now we're gonna go ahead and drop this, um, this start out, and uh, then move to the next step. All right, y'all. Y'all see uh, how I zip tied the wires up. I just got um, just zip tied them right there, and then zip tied them to the frame, and that's it. I know them three bolts is for the starter. There's my starter. Oh, get your two starter bolts. Ugh, ugh. Move this stuff on the side. Sorry for moving the camera so much. Move this on the side. Put my bolts back in there. Now just sit that on the side. All right. Now I did go ahead on and make some bags. I did make some bags. I got my AC. They labeled. I don't know if you can see that. See AC compressor. Got them bolts in it. Uh, fuel rail. Got them bolts in it. Power steering. That bitch bolt, that's one bolt in there. And then my lower motor mount, passenger side bolts, 
in there. So the next thing we're gonna do is. All right, so next, we still up under the car. Now that we moved the starter, we are going to remove this uh, front uh, level sensor on the Earl pan. This is the front Earl pan, and you're just gonna have to use a screwdriver to get in that little hole, and you simply just pull that out. Once that's out the way, we're gonna work on the flex plate. This plate here, it has three bolts in it. They are 18 millimeter. I got one out. The way you spin this flex plate, you get you a flathead screwdriver. See the flex plate right there? And you literally got the, you got the spin it. It's a real tedious, real tedious little situation. Really take time to do, just take your time. See it will move, it will move slowly. And you're basically gonna keep doing that until you get the other, if you see it in the video, it's moving pretty slow. It's three bolts in there, so you just won't keep spinning that until you get all three bolts out. So I'm gonna get those out and I'll see y'all in a second. All right, the next step we're gonna do is uh, we gotta undo the, the, the exhaust manifold, AKA headers. All right, so I got aftermarket um, headers. So I just took my clamp off. Gotta take your clamp off, right? After you take your clamp off, sorry for moving the camera a lot. And we're gonna come up top. And like I said, I got aftermarket headers. You see that, uh, that clamp down there? I just unloosen that clamp. You don't, you do not have to take the rear header off. You only need to take the front header off. So I unloosen my clamp and uh, unloosen this clamp right there and then take off all of the header bolts. Now you're not gonna be able to pull that front header off until you take this motor mount out and this motor mount out and the engine gonna shift backwards. It's not gonna fall. Once it shift, then you can pull that front header out. It'll just come right on out. Boom, so now we can release that. Just freeing up this front area so when we pull it out, it'll be a lot, um, a lot easier. So that's the next step. All right, y'all, just, just one more thing that I forgot on this other, um, on this part. You gotta take this, these transmission bolts out. Um, I believe it's gonna be, you got one, two, three, four, and this one five. This one here gonna have a big old, um, a big uh, uh, negative uh, ground on it or whatnot. That one right there, that one is that, that's that bitch bolt. So that was the last thing I needed to add to this video. Um, and that's how you take a 3800. Um, that right there, how you take a 3800 um, mode out, out the Grand Prix, it's a 2003 again, supercharged, whole nine yards. I assume it's the same for the 3100. And uh, hope this helps somebody out. Appreciate y'all watching the video. Peace.